want to before we get started, um, I want to give a shout out to my good friend Larry Wilmore. He performed at the White House Correspondence Center this weekend. And yeah. I agree. I agree. He stunned that room. People in Washington aren't used to seeing two black men speaking of the same event. <laughs> there was a little uh, controversy, a uh, moment at the end, where Larry said the N word. And uh, it was shocking, but it did lay the groundwork for President Trump to say it next year. <laughs> now, it's out there now. You can imagine it. I mean, it might You can imagine it. Too. Now, personally, I thought Larry gave a great speech that did not let the president or the press off the hook. And I am confident that Larry will receive the ultimate recognition for his work, never being invited back. <laughs> you can watch with me next year, Larry. It's a lovely party. Once. Once it's a lovely party. I did not go down uh, for the dinner uh, this year, as I said before. Uh, I don't like to go anywhere, actually, because uh, A, New York is fantastic, and B, air travel, air travel is a drag, and no one drags it more than the TSA, the only organization in the country with a no shoes, yes service policy. <laughs> And the United States uh, spends, I think I've got this right, spends $7 billion a year on the agency, and that amount raises a few eyebrows. So recently, the TSA proposed a novel new cost-cutting measure. They plan to screen passengers from smaller airports only after they reach their destination. <laughs> That's smart. That's, that's very efficient. That's like putting on a condom at the baby shower. Oh, this is so, oh, this is so, so it's, I didn't know it came in such beautiful colors. Um, hey, I've got a, I've got a question. Um, this is a bit of a technology question. Any technology people here tonight? Do you enjoy the, does, who uses Bitcoin? Do you know what Bitcoin is? Anybody? Oh, good. There are people in my audience who are arms dealers and murderers for hire. Excellent. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, for those of you who don't know, is an electronic online currency that was created in 2009 uh, for sort of the shadow dark economy of the internet. Uh, it was made by someone who did it under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Obviously a fake name. Because <laughs> if you unscramble the letters of Satoshi Nakamoto, you get Tom Hanks Asia too. <laughs> I asked Mr. Hanks and he denied it. Well, today in Australia, or uh, yesterday for people, an Australian entrepreneur <laughs> named Craig Wright outed himself as the creator of this shadow currency. Now, some folks are skeptical that an Aussie created this new technology. Me too, because the last thing Australia invented was that dumb stick that comes back to you. <laughs> Just get out of here! Go away! <laughs> and, of course, the Bloomin' Onion. But, to me... The most, their greatest contribution to society. <laughs> but to me, the most personal story from over the weekend was that Ringling Brothers has held its final performance with elephants. Yeah. I agree. The, the idea of using elephants as performers had become controversial over recent years. These are intelligent, endangered animals, and many activists believe that they should be holding each other's tails and wearing tiaras in the wild. <laughs> now, as God intended, now, these 11 pachyderms from Ringling are going to be let go, but they're not going back to the jungle. They're going someplace far more dangerous. They're going to Florida. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I don't know, I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe those elephants could get a job at SeaWorld, because... <laughs> They're still willing to do weird stuff to giant mammals. The elephants already have the snorkels, and I would love to see an elephant fight Shamu. <laughs> or, or a captive breeding program. But I... That's fun to think of the kids watching that. But I say, Mommy, what's happening with Shamu? And... But I say, elephants aren't the only thing that need to be rescued from the circus. What about the performers? I mean, look at their abuse. They're lit on fire. They're shoved into glass balls and dangled from the ceiling. They're tossed into cages with tigers. I mean, look at the cramped work conditions. Man. 
I mean, for Pete's sake. Yes, you're right there. Factory hogs have more room than these clowns. They are delicious.